Yeah, he was Lincoln. Ah. Uh. He also voiced Aqualad in Teen Titans. Hmm. Quentin. I didn't know Sans from Undertale was in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kill me. <laughs> so when are you playing Undertale, Harry? <laughs> you know, I, 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 I actually could because it's on the PS4 now. I don't know, honestly. I don't even know. I have the game myself. Like, I, I probably should play the game at some point. Hey, look, one of the characters pulled up. Ah. Oh, God! <clears throat> So what have you seen of this game, if anything, Scrappy? Besides, like, the out past hour. What have I seen of it? Yeah. Reviews from some Polly Johnny. Oh. <laughs> you watch I know. Yeah. yeah. There's, a, like, I've, I've seen a good deal. I know the general gist, yeah, gist of this game, but mm. I've never played it. Ah. Uh. Do you want to, or...? Sure, do you have money? Do <laughs> you have an emulator? I don't do that. I'm a pirate. You are a pirate, dude. Must grab oh, me. that's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, like... So, I think, like, the dungeon items, you can't get unless you have the, uh... Big key as this game dubs it, or the, the boss key. Dang it. The AI, I, the AI is really confident in battles again. Hmm. <clears throat> uh. Oh no, oh dark room. He's too talking. No, I only really use like emula emulators if I have to, or if it's like. Right, no other choice, like 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 a Japanese game or something. Yeah, or like for recording purposes. What am I doing? <laughs> like, the last time I used an emulator was for um, Final Fantasy V, just because I wanted to use a uh, like a Super Nintendo version. Mm. Isn't the Game Boy Advance version the best version though? But I like I like the fan translation because I, I want the super. I like the um, sound chip and all that. I like the sound still, the music. Mm. I mean, isn't it available on the PS One? You could have used that version. No, uh, I've heard those versions are meh. Really? More, Why? More so, well, no, I think Final Fantasy Six specifically. Why? It was probably, probably low times. I think the soundtrack for one thing <clears throat> completely changed. Oh, okay. There were just a lot of random Super NES games that just got ported to PlayStation 1. <laughs> yeah. That looks gross. What does? That collection of... I don't even know what those enemies are called. S spinning things. Not Orbanauts. I, I just cannot remember the names of Zelda enemies outside of like a few. Uh. Like Octoroks, the uh, Choo Choo's, I guess. And Dodongos. Uh, like likes. Like the like. Likes. Whatever you call them. I like thought likes, that, so. Yeah, I thought they, I always thought they were like likes. I think they're, they're like likes. Um. Um. Uh, Reed Deads and. Uh, all gi Gibdos. Enemies, all armored enemies are dark nuts to me. <laughs> I know, like, 
Like, I recognize the enemies from, like, the 3D stuff. Alright, now we can open that chest layer, uh, over here. I think, wait, can we? No. Look, I know art. That was just a random... I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Dang. So wait, are those bones? <laughs> yep. So are they like dead enemies or are they just some other poor schmucks I got in this room? Uh, schmucks probably. Yeah. I'm reminded of that I'm reminded of that hotel castle in a thousand year door. Uh, and not all only some of the Koopa skeletons get up and reanimate. <laughs> Uh. Hmm. <clears throat> this is going to be a long playthrough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I found the map. Finally. No, nothing. Alright. Wait, what am I doing? I have a guide. <laughs> Alright, back here. I like how everything stops when you go up, go up or down stairs and stuff. Hi, down. Let's see the blue Stalfos. Did you already encounter them? Yeah, I think you did. Ah, uh, yes. Corner them and then continue on to the next room. You'll find four more blue Stalfos. Easy, is, yeah, easiest way to get rid of these foes is to toss pots at them. Once they have been defeated, head up a screen and grab the compass from the treasure chest. Oh, I've already done that. Well. Okay, okay. We're done in Harry. Mm. You already encountered the anti fairies? Yeah. Uh... Drop off Jason. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Oh, so. I I don't know what you're talking about, but sure. Apparently, I'm parents reference. Uh, God, this is early in the show. I'm anti Wanda. Yeah. I my feet. <laughs> How about boop? Boop. I like, like, he's like a fairy Stewie Griffin. I'm going in circles at this point. <laughs> oh god. Man. Like how every time you said that it's been in this room. <clears throat> Jason gets spooked by the skeletons. In the dark chamber, step on the floor switch that's found on the right side of the room and then head through the nearby door. There are a few stealthos in the in this room, so defeat them by throwing pots at them if you'd like. Underneath the top, in the top right corner of the room, Link will find a small key. Grab it and return to the previous room. Walk over to the left side of the room and use a small key key to head left. Oh, there we go. Back in the Funny place. Okay, hold, hold on. Is there, are there any heart pieces here? Like, in dungeons? No. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Alright, I think, oh. we can, I think we can just fight the boss. I'd like to get some hearts, though. To find a heart container. Yeah, but we have to. Okay, the the I don't remember this boss being hard hard at all, so we should be fine. But I'm still worried. <laughs> oh, ah, gross. I, I'm still not there yet, so never mind. I'm gonna get some more food. You guys want anything? 
Uh, if I was in distance, yeah. <laughs> you like fried rice, Jason? What? You like fried rice? Eh. It's alright. I like, I like, I mean, my mom makes butter. I mean, my mom makes some rest of like a uh, like some this little buttery stuff in there. I like it. Okay. Seeing all these enemies in this game reminded me of Four Swords, and now I want to play Four Swords again. <laughs> Which one was that on? Was it like uh, uh... the Game Boy? The Game Boy Advance one that uh... actually came with the Game Boy Advance port. Ah, right, right, right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh, right. <laughs> oh, jeez. There we go. Oh, what is this madness? Ah! Oh, that should have killed him. That was bogus. That guy there looks like a bad guy, and I don't like you. All right. Nope. Not too big of a fan how you have to stop in place when you throw, shoot an arrow. Ah. Or, yeah. Dang it. Okay, is this the boss? Yes, okay. So just basically just... If it will start... Just go shoot arrows. And not miss like that. There we go. Ah, come on. Alright. Ah! There we go. I had to use up all my arrows, but it's fine. That was the boss? Yep, just a bunch of, uh, Ar Armos, or whatever. I think that's what those things are called. You want a pencil of courage? Take it to Saras or this is that. Saras land. Yes. Oh, jeez. I think he gives. What they made you? What they made you backtrack out of the dungeon? Oh no, Zelda please. Not even Zelda one. Not even Zelda two does that. I think. <laughs> That Zelda 2 Let's Play was a magical time. It was. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> was that like your debut on this channel? Yeah. Yes, my return That's after the, my my return to YouTube after my masterpiece. Is it Red Zelda, Zelda 2? No, his masterpiece okay. is the nut job. Really? <laughs> what was that? What? Sound like a, sound like someone fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just take this. You I don't have mind? Fart satisfaction button over here. I don't want to play it randomly. <laughs> I'm not doing. I'm not doing it again, though. 
Uh, look at all this lore that will never show up in any game. <clears throat> Yay, now we can do more things. Pick us his shoes. Would this be a good time to cut off, Harry? Uh... I think we should, like, do, do what we can with the Pegasus boots and, like... Let's we'll go next to the first. En en enter the second dungeon, but don't play it. If that makes sense. What time is it? Okay. It's like 12.30 a.m. in your area. Okay, uh, we can quickly do some stuff then, I guess. Um, what we, uh, besides the uh, book, what can we do? And the thief. What can we do with the Pegasus boots? Oh my. <clears throat> oh, you can get that extra heart piece. Oh? Oh my. Oh my. The speed is nice. Oh, I can do this. No, wrong, wrong thing. It's when, when there are like a bunch of rocks formed together. I think you can use the uh, Pegasus boots to bash it and open up stuff. Here's a sanctuary. Right, right. Do, 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 do. Wait, can you guys hear my chewing? Uh, I heard like a plate or something. You mean this? Yeah, yeah, I had that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I found this. Alright, what's well, down? I, I don't even know. <laughs> Yay! Anything else? Let's find out. Hey, it's taken a while, but at least we're getting some. Some stuff done. Should. We're gonna be editing and cutting out footage like crazy. Yeah, this is this is like a two-hour session, but it's probably in reality for you guys watching. It's probably gonna be like fifty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get the thief, I guess. He's down here somewhere. Wait. Oh, did you go to the did you go to Lake Hylia? No, I don't think I have. <laughs> like from the yeah, from the swamp ruins, travel east two screens and you'll reach Lake Hylia. Okay. When you enter the screen, walk to the north and uh yeah! Oh, he just tells you to bash trees. Is that it? So, some crazy people have been hiding their money in trees. <laughs> it's like, uh, in the uh, Skyward Sword, like, you can get so many rupees early game by just rolling into, like, trees and stuff. is great. That reminds me, speaking of rolling and all that, re reminds me, or reminds me of one of my very favorite bits in Skyward Sword is in the pumpkin place. Yeah. I oh, like you I just. I love that bit so much. You just roll into like, uh, into the wall and all that, and the chandelier like breaks or something. And you really jump on it, and everybody in the place has, is just staring with like wide mouths, especially the owner. I love that because it's like, it's like things you just do for fun in, in a Zelda game. Like you, <laughs> you do it then, and like people actually react. It's great. I mean, yeah, like, the music stops. Yeah, I, I, I was <laughs> like, because <laughs> I was like, oh, I, uh, so like, I, I guess I just have to make the chandelier fall so I can get this heart piece, and like this huge, huge like side content like just popped up. It's like, oh, um, right. Because like. You know, in like you, you think it would just be like, okay, it falls, you get the heart piece, 
no one cares, and you just move on. <laughs> All right, head over. Uh, head on over to Lake Hylia. Mm. Well, I, I need to find the uh, get the uh, book first because that's what we need for the dungeon. It's like I I forget what house it, which house is in, but I think it's down somewhere. He's still gonna run away because why not? Uh, I think it's this way, actually. Yep, this. Huzzah! I'm gonna hate editing this playthrough. I'll just say, tell you that right right now. What's the book do? You found the book of Medora. You can use it to read the ancient language of the Hylia. Yay! Okay. Which is basically how we're going to open up the entrance to the next, uh, dungeon. Okay, so... First of all, I'm going to find Link's house, and so I get a general sense of direction. It'll be on uh, the map, shouldn't it? Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, I think it's the... Hmm. Yeah, I like how it says where the sword is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like around here. Yeah, here we go. So, go south from here now and like go to the swamp area. Travel east two screens to reach Lake Hylia from the swamp ruins. Oh, you're at the house. You're at his house. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Where do I go from here? It should be on the map, shouldn't it? Actually, I'm not sure. No, they all do. They're not that in depth. Nah, nah. It's general, general like landmarks, but. Ow. Like it's um, where you found the building. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, I can get the... Here we go. So, the building, and then... Oops. <laughs> east from here? Uh, east two screens. Okay. Doggos are coming back to haunt us. Ah! No, that's up. I don't know if I want to fall down there, so I'm gonna... Oh, there's a f way up anyway, so... Is Altarok having fun there? <laughs> He's just kind of spinning around. After all this, Harry, you need to play a soothing game, like Kirby Superstar. I still need to play that, actually. Honestly, like, next, in terms of, like, uh, collab stuff with you two, I don't know what's going to happen next. Because I don't want to, we, we literally just fit, did Origins, so I don't think we need to do Legends right yet, uh, right now. Oh, bruh, we can collab for my secret weapon in April. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, what am I looking for in Lake Hylia? Um. Oh, by the way, you want to see if the crabs can kill you? Huh? Heal first and go see those crabs. Can, go see those crabs can kill you. Well, I, I'd, I'd rather get what we're trying to do out of the way. Right. Expose yourself to the giant enemy crabs, Harry. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that re that reminds me, um, in a uh, Harry in a uh, Harry, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> crab in um in Final Fantasy fourteen, there actually is a like one of the random fates called giant enemy crab. Perfect. Nice. Uh, okay, okay, so uh, Lake Hylia, 
What now? Right when you enter the screen, walk to the north and you'll find a crack in the wall. Place a bomb and enter the cave. You will defeat four mini mold moldorm that are found there. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I just passed it because I remember seeing them and then it's like I just left because I had to have needed arrows or something. Okay, I'll just ignore that. Music's nice in this game, though. Like, very nice upgrade from the uh, the NES. Yep. Listen, this is really epic. <laughs> in this game or Xenoblade? Xenoblade. Oh. <laughs> crazy. Well, that's, uh, I kind of expect that. Oh, wait, I'm out of arrows. <laughs> uh, when, you, when you need something and you don't have it. And now, it's, uh, now the game's going to be like... <laughs> yeah, the game's starting to be the opposite of what happened earlier. I needed bombs before, never got them. Now I need arrows. Now, I'm get now all I'm getting is bombs. What the hell? Oh, crap. Yeah, I think they just did a ton of damage. Yep, uh, screw it. Okay, so, like, <sighs> how much, wait, how much do the crabs do? Uh, I don't know, but I died. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, by the way, the blades, apparently it's like, they they just give you boosts as long as you work with them. Mm. Look how many rupees we have. <laughs> I, I forget what the I forget what the cap is. Only nine ninety nine. I don't know if the, yeah I don't know if there's like uh, um bigger wallets or anything in this game. I think that's Stide and Ocarina. Don't quote me on that. Because I think uh, Zelda 1 was like... Uh, okay, well, I don't remember the actual cut, but I think it has something to do with like the NES not being able, to, being able to count any higher than the Ruby count. Or something like that. Specials are among the most powerful attacks in the German's arsenal. Use art at a precise moment auto-attack hits home. Or charge up specials than usual. You use the darkness. Let's see. How's the combat? Attacking the enemy with a special may even give you a chance to perform a blade combo. Ah. But I'll tell you about more abilities another time. Alright, right, right. Now let's talk about blade combos. <laughs> hmm. Oh, fine. The salt enemy with a special you see a gate at the top of the screen containing a window of opportunity in which you can use a blade combo. Hmm. Buffalo roots for the blade combo will also appear on screen. Oh, basically, um, they let me, uh, they let me, um, input the status on them. Nice. Still in tutorial land, I guess. You can hit the enemy with another high stage special before the, the gauge runs out. It'll do much more damage. <laughs> damage, Joe. Alright. What's this? <laughs> the enemy has just been hit with a special. I'll bump up your special level for you just this once. So ah. try to catch. <laughs> Wait, are, right. these Mold are these Moldorn? Yeah. Hmm, where is that bomb? Oh, well, you don't need a bomb, you just need to defeat them. Yeah. Oh, wait, I can just do this. I think. If I don't suck at aiming. Uh, this, this is annoying. There we go. Uh. Um, so, all dorms are, are Metroids? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> there we go. Just, just enough 
Magic despair. <laughs> Hi. It's a secret to everyone. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll take that. So, was he like locked in here this whole time? Probably, yeah. Uh... I could have used those 10 arrows earlier, but okay, sure. Alright, is that what we can do? Or what? Back outside, continue heading eastward around Lake Hylia. When you reach the southeast corner, turn northward. Oh my gosh. And continue to follow the pathway until you reach a cave. Yeah. Well, I. I is it. Wait, is it talking about, like, the ice road or something else? Not the ice road. Hmm? Not the ice rod. Oh. Say, so, like, okay, I need to be more wary. like a discount of points. Yeah, I, I need to be more wary about these crabs. <clears throat> what even is this flying thing that turns into, like, weird jelly mini Metroids? I'm reminded of that. Enemy from the first Halo. What is it? It's like one of those flood enemies. The flood, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the, the, they just like turn into little mini things and just yeah. Pop zits. <laughs> yep. I, I love shooting them. I'm terrible. And suppose you you would know about Halo. <laughs> I played. My brother had it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've already see been in both of these caves, so I don't know. How you doing, buddy? Does it say what's in the cave? Walk inside and then place a bomb against a cracked wall. You can collect the fairies here, but the real secret is in the middle of the room. Using the Pegasus shoes, dash into the fairy statue and it will release uh, a bee. Catch it using the uh, bug catching I see. You caught a bee! What do you do? Keep him bow, I guess. Uh, what is that? Okay, what do I do with it? <laughs> Link can unleash it to defeat enemies on screen, and then the bee will return to Link. Oh. Ha. Huh. Let me just try. To the left of the just to the left of the cave. Oh, wait, that's the ice rod. Never mind. Um, let's see. There is only one more goodie to collect before entering the desert palace. Luckily, it is right next to the dungeon. Travel back to the Great Swamp and make your way to the southwest corner of the overworld, entering the Desert of Mystery. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, we got a bee fighting for us. It's great. Oh, no, he left. Wait, what? Oh, no. Well, we don't need it, but that was a cool little secret. So, wait, go to the... Oh, no, I... I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy focusing on the bee. Like, go to the swamp. Right next to the palace. Ah, <clears throat> uh, uh, okay. Travel back to the Great Swamp and make your way to the southwest corner of the overworld, entering the Desert of Mystery. Ooh. Are you sure it's not, <laughs> sure it's not the desert, desert of the Canaran? Of the what? Rayman 3. I have only, only played the opening demo of that. Uh, right, well, uh, Jason would get, get the joke. And yeah, the top I got right. It. At the top right corner of the desert, there is a cave that Link can enter. In the second room, there is a crack along the southern wall. Place a bomb against the wall and then go ahead and enter it to find piece of heart number seven. That's all the major optional things you can do for now, so it's time to take on the desert palace. Right. Wait, what? Why are you following you? Why did you take my sign? It's just playing this. Just leave me alone. Sheesh. Now he's just gonna follow us, I guess. Can you please go away? <laughs> I want to see what's in that cave. Alright. Yeah, no one's still here. Yeah, when, when the 
it was like curved like that. You can just dash into it and you'll just kind of like go to the side. Like so. Right, so there's like a secret cave somewhere around here, right? So this? I heard Rex. <clears throat> Rex. Yeah, that's the main character, Rex. Oh, full pants. Mm -hmm. And his partner is um oh, hi. is the is the is the blade, the red, the girl in red, uh, Pyra. I see the girl a from Guilty Crown. What? The girl from Guilty Crown. <laughs> I've heard of that. Huzzah! That's heart piece number two. Cool. Alright, all right, then. That's pretty much all we can do right now. Alright. So I guess we just have to have, like, the guide up for, like, the order of things we can get as early as possible, just to make things easier on us. Because otherwise we're just going to go all, o all over the place. I do not want anything to do with that guy. <laughs> yeah. Chapter 1, Encounters. If we're gonna watch the Mario movie, you guys might wanna, like, find a place to get it up. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if there's enough time for you to watch it while still... Oh, like, it's gonna be late by the time we finish for you. Wait, you wanna watch it tonight? I'm not really feeling it tonight. Aren't you? Yeah. Well. What are you doing? We're just using the book to, uh... Looks like we're praying. <laughs> oh, wait, I've never seen this. Link took his hat off. This isn't required, right? No, this is required. You need to do this to enter a dungeon. Oh. What's well, thing we're doing tonight, or are we enter this in tonight? Uh. <clears throat> yeah, I think we should stop here. It's been two hours. I surprised Nintendo of America didn't uh, censor that. David Tennant, no. Uh, actually, no. It's gonna it's gonna stay here when we go back the Wii menu anyway. So, yeah, next time we're gonna go to the second dungeon and get lost fifty more times. So, yay. Yes, <laughs> next time on the Legend of Zelda, a scrap to a past. <laughs>